All right. You'll be under RCMP protection from here on. Off you go. It's cool! <laughs> Welcome to Canada! Bienvenue! Come along, I have blankets and whiskey for all of you. This will warm your cockles. If it's gonna warm my cockles, I'll need a bigger blanket. I'm Special Agent Straight McCool. My mission is to help you assimilate, keep a low profile, and ensure you don't violate our nation's laws. I'm sorry. Violate what? <laughs> what a spirited group. I loved this assignment the minute I was given it. Let the protection begin. Hop in. You gotta be shitting me. Run it by me again. Canada's bigger, but they got 10 states, not 50. They call them provinces, but yeah, 10 provinces. What did they do with the other 40? Why are you asking me? They're freaking retards. Their dollar's a freaking coin. And no one knows what it's worth. Sometimes 80 cents, others 90. They say sometimes their dollar's worth more than a dollar. That don't even make no sense. Sorry. See that? You cut that chick off and she's sorry. What do you gotta do to get a finger around here? Look, I know you Canadians ain't into boxing because you're all peaceable with your clean air and apologizing all the time Stop and... Stop right there, sir. I'll have you know that during World War II, the Canadian Army gained more land mass per individual soldier than any other army. Secondly, our major metropolitan areas are just as polluted, dirty, and disgusting as anything you have south of the border. Don't tell me we got clean air, buddy. And in terms of apologizing, well... Perhaps I did overreact, and for that, I'm sorry. I'll never get vagina. The boy can't win, Jimmy. Simple as that. So do yourself a favor. For once in your life, follow the rules. For Canada! And whatever she stands for! Jimmy, you know what I love most about Regina? The excitement? Yes, but more than that, in addition to being the capital of Saskatchewan, Regina is also the second largest city in the province after Saskatoon and Canada's 18th largest by population. Its summer agricultural exhibition was originally established in 1884 as the Assiniboia Agricultural Association. I got it. I don't want it, but it's something to do, so I got it. Vagina tourism. You may need a bit more training. Regina tourism? Why, yes. Regina was named in 1882 after Queen Victoria, i.e. Victoria Regina, by her daughter, Princess Louise. No, sir, that's Saskatoon. We're the second largest. No, sir, that's Saskatoon also. No, 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 that's all Saskatoon! Well, if you love Saskatoon so much, why don't you just marry it? Unlike other planned cities in the Canadian West, Regina had no topographical features other than Wiscona Creek. Early planners to the I can't believe it! A town called Vagina and not one strip club? What's become of us, Jimmy? It's times like this I'm glad I'm in witness protection, because if anyone back home knew I lived in a town with no strip club, I'd be so embarrassed I'd have to go into witness protection. You can say that again. You know, if some dumb schmuck with half a brain opened a strip club in this town, he could make some serious coin. He'd make a freaking fortune. Hey, we could be that dumb schmuck. Cheech, we're gonna open a strip club. Jimmy, you're a genius. I would never have thought of that. I got here as fast as I could, Jimmy. What's the problem? Because two problem, me problem. Okay, before you say no, hear me out. Me and Cheech want to open a strip club. The town don't have one, so we're providing a public service. And if it don't work, nobody gets hurt but us. There's no law against it, Jimmy. I think it's a splendid idea. I will be there opening night to support you. Horny bastard. I beg your pardon? That's what we're calling it. The horny bastard. So we can do this? As long as you follow the provincial guidelines. Bare breasts and bums permitted, but no full frontal or related mons pubis if alcohol is served. 
Ladies may touch the man's face, arms, chest, and inner thigh, but must remain a minimum five centimeters from his genitalic region. Men may not touch, fondle, grope, or lick, and must be kept at least three centimeters from her breasts. This to be measured from the tip of the nipple, and not the areola or breast major. There goes my boner. I'm proud of you, Jimmy. This is your first step towards becoming a semi-respected member of the community, and I trust you'll do well at it. For Canada! And her public education system ranked 11th in the world! And I'm here to tell you that you cannot keep this statue on your lawn. Why not? This is some fancy sh**. For one, a Canadian family would never possess such a thing, and its medium-sized genitalia is a neighborhood distraction. Medium? Hello? Boy, oh boy, can you imagine having a jablong like that? And no freaking arms to get at it? I mean, come on, McCool, guy to guy. If you were him, and you couldn't give it a little tug now and then, you'd want to kill yourself. But you couldn't, because you got no arms. I'm leaving now, Uncle Cheech, and I shall trust you can understand why I won't shake your hand. Resident, resident, Bill, resident... Oh, yay! Victoria's Secret Catalog! Cookie, you cannot throw away your neighbor's mail. That is an indictable offense. Cheese and whiskers, this is someone's baby bonus check. What kind of check now? A baby bonus check, Gina. It's Canada's gift to the parents of all children. Go on, Chief. It was instituted after World War II to reduce financial stress on soldiers' families. Australia has the same baby bonus policy, but theirs is racist to ensure white control of the country, and so not really the same at all. And who's eligible for this baby bonus? All parents of children under seven. My mother got the baby bonus for me, and she always said, I don't need money for this child. I would pay to have a child this good. And we'd laugh, and she would hold me. And then we'd make pancakes and cry because Daddy loved box wine and pornography. But I say too much. For Canada! And the fact that we're not Australia! OMG! It says here we could go to prison for committing fraud. That's fraud. And only if you'd get caught. I can't go to prison, Gina. Those guys would go crazy for me. It would be a woman's prison. I'm nuts. Even worse, I'd have to chop off my hair and buy a flannel. Take it easy. No one's going to jail because you are a great actress. Right, right, right. I forgot. Okay, let me get into character. Teresa McDougal. Here we go. Say it. Oh, for the love of God. Action! I am Teresa McDougal. This is my daughter, Gina. We are residents of Canada and have never collected the baby bonus because I was working in the Peace Corporation helping to feed the indigo people of Del Taco. I'm deaf as a stone, dear. I just assigned the numbers. Over there. Now you know why it says, do not write on this part of the form. Mama! This is bad, Cheech. We get busted in something like this, we get kicked out of witness protection. And we move back to New York. Where the mob is waiting to kill us. There's just no winning with you. Okay, what you gotta do now is get in touch with the top guy in the province and use this guy as your bargaining chip. Uh, this is the top guy. What? He is the premier of Saskatchewan. What's a premier? It is like a governor. It means first. First what? Why are you asking so many questions? We got a guy in a bag here. Yeah, I probably should have told you not to grab the boss. All right, you bastards. The right honorable Mickey O'Shea never forgets a face. You're all going down for this. I also should have mentioned not to let the hostage see our faces. Now we gotta kill him. Go ahead and try, old man. I'll twist off your nipples and flick him in the gutter. All right, primo, relax. We don't want to kill you, we just want you to give these guys their land back. They get nothing. Mickey O'Shea never loses. I took on the wheat board and won. Twice! Okay, tying the guy up right, you should have figured out on your own. So, 
how'd you like fishing, kid? It's a barbaric, disgusting endeavor. Yeah, me too. Thanks for coming. Ever since they whacked Fredo and Godfather too, I never go fishing without a kid in the boat. <gasps> They'll never take us alive. They can take me alive? Not if I can help it. Hey, look at that, Petey. The cops got pigtails. License and registration, please. Say, when you report this to headquarters, you gonna use a radio or smoke signals? <laughs> Uncle Cheech, you can't make jokes like that. I'm sorry, officer. Ah, lighten up. A bus like this is a real feather in his cap. <laughs> please step out of the car, sir. What are you gonna do? Scalp me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You can't arrest someone for speeding. This is Canada, sir. I'm arresting you for hurting my feelings. Wow, Canadian jails. Not bad. I'm here to see Cheech McDougal. Ah, yes, Mr. McDougal. He checked in earlier today. We have him staying in cell block D for delightful. Just turn left at the Zen Garden. Champagnes, huh? Don't mind if I do. You dirty screw. Hey, look, fellas. Daryl's out of solitary. How was it? So relaxing. Totally worth killing that guard. Lucky duck. Cheech? Hey, Jimmy. Great to see you. Come on in. It's not locked. I bet this is what jail is like in heaven. But how is this a detergent to crime? Mr. McDougal, can I get your dinner order? Thanks, Donnie. I'll have the surf and turf. And don't forget the ketchup. Cancel that order! He won't be suckling at the Queen's teeth this evening. Cheech, Cheech, Cheech. You were making such fine progress, and then you go and disappoint me like this. I have half a mind to let you stay in this hellhole. Why does Cheech get all the breaks? This is no laughing matter, Jimmy. Do you know what he did? Do you know what he did? Come to think of it, no. Come to think of it, no. He wantonly insulted a member of our country's First Nation. Ah, I just made fun of an engine. Nonetheless, I was able to get the charges dropped on the condition that you attend a cultural sensitivity seminar at the Black Paw First Nations Reserve. I believe that's African American Paw. You can ask them yourself tomorrow when you attend the seminar, Jimmy. Why do I have to go? Because I haven't been appreciating your attitude. I know what you're up to, gentlemen, and I shan't allow it. The good citizens of Saskatchewan deserve better than to be taken in by your flim-flam confidence games. Hey, this is a legitimate business. Why, you don't believe in the supernatural? You want to know what I believe, Jimmy? I'll tell you what I believe. I believe in a Canada true north, strong and free. Universal health care. The metric system. The letter Z. That Saturday night was made for hockey. I believe Keanu Reeves is highly underrated. I believe if I were a woman and I didn't have the ability to wrap my legs around my neck, I would never take my boyfriend to see Cirque du Soleil. I believe in football with three downs, two fours of beer and maple syrup. And I believe that Rush is the single greatest band of all time. Uh, so we can stay open? I believe we're about to find out. You can try to distract me all you want, Teresa, but until you reach legal age, I see only your face. Nice eyes. Bad me, bad. You'd better not be trying to pick my pocket, young Gina. When I grow up, I want to be a Mountie just like you. You and 30 million other Canadians. Jimmy, Cookie, we'll have none of that public cussing. Your outdoor arguments are bringing too much attention and you risk exposing yourself. I will if you will. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Don't take her seriously, McCool. She's just trying to piss me off. And it's working! Will you two stop? This kind of behavior is not Canadian. We are a polite people who keep our true feelings bottled up. If we must express ourselves, we do it with silent resentment, flowering looks, and suppressed rage, all the while maintaining a delicate balance of denial and shame. That's the Canadian way. Do you think you can do that? You take denial, I got shame. 
Splendid. My workday is done. Oh, is that a Cuban? Mr. Goody Two-Shoes smoking illegal cigars. Nothing illegal about it. The government of Canada does not maintain antiquated foreign policies. And our beer tastes better too. For Canada! Proud to be shameful! Cheech, you're not gonna believe what I found out about Canada. You can legally buy Cubans here. I know, I got a closet full of them. Mambo! 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 Please, senor, let us see. Wow! You can buy anything in Canada. Me and Gigi are going to the cigar store. Tell your mother we'll be back in 20. Hospital. I'm Jimmy McDougal, but I used to be Jimmy Falcone. Back home, we were big shots, made men. If we wanted someone to do something, it happened. If we wanted to do something to someone, that happened too. So I'm here to show you that we Canadians still know how to have a good time. But not a long time. I have to work tomorrow. Sorry, but cool. We're drunk out. We've been partying with our neighbors all night.